Good evening, and welcome to the Shadow Trader Video Weekly for Sunday, July 8th, 2018. Back after a two-week hiatus, good to be here with you guys. Thank you so much to my colleagues, Dan Sheehy and Scott Gillum, who are manning the Video Weekly helm in my absence. Title of today's video is Upside Breakout, and why is that? Because we have just spent all this time here in a 55 point range and on Friday we broke out of that range to the upside okay now this is also interesting for another reason in that this is a pattern failure of a head and shoulders right this is a left shoulder this is a head and this is a right shoulder so you have these three areas here and the head and shoulders pattern should play out this way where you had you know, a little trend line break here, you know, we go down like this. Instead, the opposite happens. So it's a pattern failure. So I think this is a powerful breakout for both of those reasons, that there's actually a confluence of two things going on here, pattern failure on the head and shoulders and also the range breakout. Now, remember, whenever you have a range breakout, your target is the distance of the range. So if you notice this range here turned into this range here and notice that the boxes are relatively equal so that means that this range here we should be able to add on 55 points onto here and we should have another box here that'll be about the same height so we're looking at a target now in the S&P of taking us to that 2800 area right in here all right market internals were they confirming or were they not confirming? I would say they were pretty much confirming, pretty solid. Look at the breadth here, 4.46 to 1 positive NASDAQ, NICE 3.97, so looking pretty good. Advances decliners opened at zero and then spent the whole day rising and holding, which is actually very good, pretty bullish action. And last but not least, certainly not least, you know, I love looking at the tick indicator. Look at your green triangles here on the nice tick on the 15 minute. That green triangle means that you had a close on the 15 minute bar above the blue zero line. Red triangle means below. Lots more triangles on the green side than on the red side. And I also found this very interesting is as the market was breaking out early in the day, then it spent the rest of the day more in a consolidation pattern, which I'll get into in a moment. Notice the tick action here above zero all the way until like 1 p.m. you barely got any negative ticks. Look at just the little shadows underneath. Pretty much almost every body of the 15 minute bar was above zero. So to me, they were decent internals, really kind of very strong. What you want to be on lookout for is when you have a breakout on weak internals. I don't think that was the case. I think we had decent internals today. All right, Russell 2000, keeping on continues to lead very, very strong. I put a little bit of a fib on this thing for a retracement because I was thinking, well, this could turn around and it didn't. And that's actually bullish for the market. Notice that you stopped right at the 50% retracement here with a little bit of a topping tail. But then instead of turning around and going south, it actually went north, broke the 50 again and went to the 61.8, right? Right here to the 61.8. And then what happened Friday took off well over the 61.8 as you know, I'm a big believer that once you get a close above the 61.8, you're probably going a bit higher. Target in the Russell now is going to be to the all-time high at 17.07. Pro tip, hint, hint, not a bad idea to go with a calendar trade or a diagonal targeting that area. When you've got short time, right, could get there in a couple of days, and you kind of know where you want to go, probably a diagonal actually it's probably where you want to be looking at that you know some sort of a long call uh later out say 1695 and selling something short term where you think you're going to go so that's something i'm going to be looking for this coming week all right let me leave you with just a couple of trade ideas not too many but a couple of things that haven't broken out yet i've actually got a lot of longs i put on a number of longs on friday um, NVIDIA is one of them, but I think it still has room to maneuver. It has, it's really kind of just starting. Uh, so I wanted to put this one out there because really the, the cat has kind of just left the bag, so to speak. It really hasn't broken out totally. But notice how many days of consolidation you have here. This is actually nine days of consolidation, right? If you remember from Ferris Bueller's day off, nine days. It's actually nine times, but nine times, nine days of consolidation right here. And look at the gap to be filled right here. And also 20 MA 
right in here. I think the stock goes at least to about 260 here. We'll see the downtrend line puts it up in here at 255. So I think you're going to see some room to maneuver here in NVIDIA. NVIDIA in the semiconductor in, uh, sector. And notice what the SOX is doing. No big surprise, the semiconductor index has the exact same pattern going on and also has a gap to fill up into here. All right. Next item up for bids, Isergy, Intuitive Surgical, makers of the Da Vinci Surgical Robot. I've been talking about this stock touching $500 for quite some time now. The bottom line is whenever a stock bumps up against a key price level and doesn't breach it, what does that tell you? That that level is probably not going to be the resistance. It's probably going to go much higher. I think there's a chance here to buy the breakout on the 500 actually. Instead of looking at the $500 target, it's probably going to go a bit higher. I also like kind of the rounded pattern here where you had this failure down here. And notice that when it failed, where did it fail to? Very technical, very visual, obvious references, right? I love those mechanical visual references. I love them where you're going right to the prior high on the pullback and then starting your advance again. And last but not least, this is more of a little longer term play, although they do have earnings coming up, as does everything. WDC, Western Digital, look at this weekly chart here. Nice support on this area. And what I like most about this is the dastardly letter H, right? And I say dastardly because what does that letter H spell for sellers? That's right. Hell. Always hell for sellers. They always try to get short here at the wrong time. They all think this is a horizontal breakdown. Oh, this is it. This is where it goes. But no. H pattern always spells trouble for sellers and usually results in, bam, they move up to the upside like that. All right. That's all I have for you this week. On behalf of myself and the entire Shadow Trader team here in beautiful Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, as always, I wish you good trading. And good night.